Hello everyone. So today uh, we actually created this video to introduce everyone regarding NIUS. Okay, myself Kanika Singh having a, having an seven years of experience in teaching biology in various schools and NIUS. So this NIUS, first of all, as we say, it stands for National Institute of Open Schooling. So first of all, the question arises that why we need it? Why we need it? We have many schools. I know we have many CBSC, ICSC board schools for students available in India and out of India as well. But what is the need of NIOS right now for doing it? So the first question, which I can solve you for you, I can solve for you guys. The answer for that, why you need it, this is actually need by those person who are still in job and want to pursue more degrees, more diploma degrees, or they want to continue their study while doing the job, or they want flex the student who wants flexibility in their uh, classes. Okay, the way they do the classes, they want the flexib flexibility over there. So this National Institute of Open Schooling actually eliminates all the barrier. Whatever the barrier we have while going to school, while attending a school, it removes all that barrier, okay? Like you don't have to go ahead, go at a particular place every day. And if a student is actually engaged in some other activities, like it is he is an athlete, he or she is an athlete, or other sports like hockey, cricket, we have many sports going on uh, right now. So if they are over there or they are doing other thing, or they are doing job or other things. So for that also, for that also, for those person, this NIOS is actually one of the best options we have, okay? National Institute of Open Schooling was established, it was established by government of India only. So this was established in the year 1989. So this, uh, the department actually, which actually established it is, was the Ministry of Education, which is under the Ministry of Human Resource Development. So this NIOS was actually a formerly known as National Open School. Now it is being converted into National Institute of Open Schooling. Now, this is the one way, this is the way you can, uh, achieve your target your goals okay while doing the other things also it's not like that some people females also females also who actually break in their study that they are not able to do because of any personal reason it is not uh, that we are going to pick up those personal reason but the reasons can be anything you can continue okay you can continue the studies at any age wherever you are sitting you can do the classes easily you can attend the classes easily okay and the nios will assess assist you in each and everything whether it's a practical related subject or whether it is not okay they will actually going to assist you and going to provide you entire uh, thing means uh, the uh, certificate if it is a certificate course they are going to provide that also if it is a diploma course they are going to provide diploma certificate also and if it is your degree courses or if it is you can say that not degree but the school courses at the secondary level senior secondary levels all the mark sheets everything will be provided and they are actually approved and you can apply the, all those things in further jobs also it's not like that it is not approved it is approved by government of india now this senior secondary courses which actually provided uh, by us are different different but the my courses which i deal with is biology so i know everybody is familiar with this word biology so biology stands for the study of life it's a greek word it, is, it was derived from a greek word but it stands for study of life see uh, we say that the doctors only need to understand the biology we don't but what if I need to measure. I need to measure and give some tablet to a child. Then what I will do? I can ask to a doctor. But what if if it is not available? What I can do in that situation? Okay. So to understand each and every point, what how are my body is functioning? 
how each and everything is going on even if a person who actually goes to a gym which is a trend right now to go to a gym and to maintain your healthy lifestyle so if you are going to a gym how you will understand your body mass index okay what is body mass index how you will understand you will understand by understanding those terms under the subject biology okay so what is biology nothing it is not that much uh, a haphazard word or a big uh, difficult word it is very very easy which we study the different different vital processes and also the living organism in this subject it includes various other discipline also like biochemistry microbiology ecology botany conservation evolution genetics marine biology medicine and physiology Although we have doctors and everything to assist our medicine age and everything, but you, I think so. Everybody knew that our population is increasing on drastic scale, and the society is like that. It has been meant like that. Our society, Indian society, Indian culture is actually meant like that. You cannot discuss that how we can control the population. Okay, you cannot discuss at your home or you cannot discuss uh, each and everywhere. So the teacher is there to make you understand that what is the importance of small family and what is the importance of family planning and what is the importance that how we can control entire population growth. Okay, and now this is not related to the only person who is studying biology. It is related to each and every person who is actually a living being. It is our responsibility. It is our responsibility to maintain, to maintain this level of population. Okay, so this is the thing regarding biology. Now, if we move further, what other carriers means? What other carriers we can uh, do? We can switch to other than the doctor. What are the other options we can do? Like we can take the biology, but what we can do further? So we know that you can give the need examination. You can be a doctor. That's a very good option. Okay. But what other options you have is as microbiologists, you can be in an uh, industrial level, at the industrial scale level, you can be in any industry. Then you can be a forensic scientist, you can be a biotechnologist, you can be a pharmacist, geneticist, you can be an agriculture consultant, you can be a food scientist. Okay, it, right now various experiment is going on, various research article is going on. You can be a researchist or you can be a researcher also. Okay, so this is actually the career options which are being provided after after you take the subject biology and teaching is also which is not being included over here teaching is also as option for you when you take the subject uh, as a career for biology okay now the future to learn biology so what is the future of biology basically so we know that many global challenges are there what challenges first main challenge which is faced by everyone that is the climate change. You understand that how much of change has been occurred in a decade. Right now you are having a means we actually face the temperature about uh, 49 to 50 degrees Celsius, which was not 10 years earlier okay if you go before 10 years okay it was not there the maximum temperature was 44 or 43 now it is being increased to 49 so why it is being increased that is the important issue okay now the basic thing we will discuss that your mother sister or your wife is making yogurt or cheese at the home how it is being made it is being made with the help of bacteria or fungi so this is the important importance of biology now the living buildings are also there like functional healing which actually clear the air pollution and each and everything so this is not only for the person who is actually a biology or want biology student or wants to give the examination this is for all the person they need to understand the biology of themselves as well as their surroundings to live on the earth okay now if we see that the how the weightage is being divided the how the paper is being divided on the basis of knowledge understand and application it is it carries 20 36 for 24 marks which is total 18 marks and the percentage is 25 45 and 30 percent the entire paper is for three hours and the code is 314 the maximum marks is 100 okay it is being mentioned over there maximum marks is 120 is for practical 80 is for examination 
Now, in the form of questions, if we see the form of questions are actually it is being like that. Now, MCQs and uh, the asset means uh, uh, subjective type or objective type of question marks are actually 50 50 means 40 marks 40 marks okay and combinedly it forms 80 marks so we have objective type question 16 which carries one mark objective type questions in which we have fill in the blanks match the uh, column paragraph case based question one word question flow chart diagram based question etc these type of questions will be there so they will carry two marks or we have 12 questions so in total 16 and 24 will make 40 so this is entire your objective type okay now we have very short answer short answer and long answers so very short is actually for uh, two marks nine questions we have and the short answers we have actually uh, three into four that is for 12 marks long answer is for 10 marks and totally we have 80 question 80 marks in 43 questions okay now the weightage according to content areas if we see, uh, means we have five subunits, diversity and evolution, form and function of animal, reproduction and heredity is one unit, third one, and environmental health is fourth unit, emerging areas in biology is the fifth unit. Entirely, it carries the 80 marks, 12, 26, 22, 13, and 7 is the weightage of these uh, units, subunits. In subunits also, we have chapters, 31 chapters in total we have. Okay, now in the level of difficulty in difficult 40 marks paper is difficult average is 24 and easy is 610 which comprises 80 in total. Now, this is the bifurcation which is very very important to understand that bifurcation is being already done in TMA and public examination. Now public examination count for 60% uh, of the syllabus and 40% is of your TMA that is teacher mark assignment provided by us. Okay. It actually public examination includes your 18 chapters and rest of the chapters are actually in the teacher marked assignments. Okay, now what we are offering, we are offering the enrollment assistance. We are offering the complete preparation of examination of your public examination and also the TMA writing. We are actually giving you mock test paper. Previous year question discussion is actually help, uh, actually being discussed in the classes after completion of entire syllabus okay some teachers are doing it earlier some teachers are doing it later but we will assist you definitely now help in practical examination and flexibility according to the student so that is more important because uh, as the student is not going to the regular school they are opting this so they are opting for a certain reason they have a reason behind it so we will appreciate each and everything and we will welcome you to the nios classes and to join this and uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much.